Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to pull some messages, cards from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine at this time. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. I just posted a video about the Divine Feminine and um, you guys are doing very great. So I want to keep the energy going and I want to get some messages from you guys to the Divine Masculine. Um, some messages may come out from the Divine Masculine. I will let you know if I sense that it is something different or vice versa. Alright, let's start with the Romance Angel Oracle and go from there. God, Michael, Spirit, please connect me with the Divine Feminine Collective and can I please get any advice or anything they need to know at this time, Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines, about their Divine Union. Heart to Heart Conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So you guys may need to have a conversation and be completely vulnerable and honest with each other. Don't hold back out of fear. Separation this time. time. You know, I said this time apart, so you guys may be in separation or separation is about to occur in your divine counter uh the divine union time apart from your partner is on the horizon bottom of the deck is new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings let's get one more for this divine union all right we have children your love life is being affected by children yeah you guys definitely should go check out that divine feminine reading that i just posted Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So live in the moment. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Pretty self-explanatory. Go with the flow. Don't create unnecessary tower moments, guys. Because we're all stubborn humans. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Um, I, I'm also getting um, healing family issues. Like if you have any issues with siblings or um, for some reason, like the family that you chose to create, um, having issues with if you were dealing with a narcissistic partner or, you know, abuse in some form, like try to heal that too, guys. So we have attraction, we have children, we have separation. Retreat might be you guys going on a retreat together or you just need to retreat in nature to become one with nature. Bottom of the deck is new love again. A new person has stirred romantic feelings. So let's get some hidden truths from your divine feminine to divine masculine. God, Michael, spirit. Okay, that came out right away. I wish things could be different. Your Divine Feminine is letting you know they do wish things could be different between you guys. Go here. I wonder if you're happy without me. Especially if they're seeing anything on social media or there's no contact. They're just left in their head wondering if you're happy without them. I look for you everywhere. I love you unconditionally. So no matter what, your Divine Feminine is letting you know, Divine Masculine, they do love you unconditionally. No matter how you feel about yourself or no matter what's happened between you guys, the timing just wasn't right for us. So your, div div excuse me. your Divine Feminine is letting you know that they do know that the separation that was caused between you two was divinely guided, guided and they knew that they had healing to do along with you. Uh, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe your divine feminine has wanted to express a lot of things to you and they haven't been able to, cause I do feel like I'm stumbling over my words. Like my mind is wanting to say things faster than my mouth is able to do. Um, <laughs> I remember every detail of that day that could be the day you met or the day separation occurred or both. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you which I was feeling that because I've been having some trouble sleeping the last few days. Um, and I said that in the beginning of the reading for the Divine Feminine. So maybe that's what your Feminines are dealing with too. 
sleepless nights a little bit. We both know I'm not the one for you. That could be a sense of insecurity that they're having, especially if you guys have been in a long separation. They're starting to doubt whether or not that they're right for you because of you. I want to tell you how I feel. Yeah, like I said, stumbling over my words. I feel like this is a long time coming. Bottom of the deck is... I left when I saw you with someone. Yeah, definitely go check out the other reading, guys. Um, this could be one of those things where they started to fall back because you chose to be with someone else and they didn't want to interfere with that. It could have interfered with their moral compass. Um, I am feeling that this could be a situation that both of you have never really dealt with before um, where it might put you on the fence on what's right and wrong kind of thing. Messages of love. Let's see what your Divine Feminine needs to tell you at this time. Divine Masculines. God, Michael, Spirit. Messages from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine at this time. Unavailable. This person is unable to give you all. Give all you deserve. So I'm kind of feeling like your divine feminines are becoming aware that at this time divine masculines that you are unavailable and this could be that energy that i'm feeling where the detachment's happening and they're starting to go um more into their independence and doing things that make them happy messages from the divine feminine We have obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. So your Divine Feminine is letting you know that they are still healing and trying to work through things that are causing a bit of an issue. But they are aware that this is fate. This is a destined partnership. I don't think your story is over, guys. Uh, soulmate, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you. So they feel like you are their soulmate trust it is safe to trust in this situation so your divine mass uh, excuse me your divine feminine is telling you that it is safe to trust them you don't have to be afraid of them hurting you bottom of the deck is unplug working less will help strengthen your relationship so maybe you guys are overworking too much um and you're needing to focus more on your relationship with your divine counterpart or your relationship with yourself Let's get a few more, please. Messages from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine at this time. God, Michael, Spirit. Your Divine Feminine is letting you know that they are aware that this relationship does deserve a second chance. Second chance came out. This relationship deserves a second chance. Uh, longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. So your feminine is letting you know that regardless of detaching from you and moving forward into their independence and focusing more on self-love, they do still feel that longing. Yeah, like I said, integrity. Does this situation align with your values, values and morals? So your divine feminine is having an issue, especially if integrity is pretty valuable to them. Um, I feel like this situation, if, if it if it involves third parties it's one of those things where it's not sitting well with them and they want to make sure that you guys come to each other correctly and um you know pure basically like and i feel like this is why they're saying they left when they saw you with someone else if you chose to be with someone else they were going to respect that boundary you put in place no matter what children children are important to this partnership Definitely, if you guys have kids, kids are very important in the decisions they're making right now. Chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. So your divine feminines are telling you, masculines, if you're feeling that hot and bothered, uh, your divine feminine is also feeling that way. Passion, yeah, exactly. Try something you've never done before. I feel like your divine feminine is telling you they are willing to dive into this passionate connection with you and they're down for whatever you want to do self-care you know what else i'm getting with passion sorry um is uh work career if there's something that they didn't think that they could do i feel like they're going for that too self-care clear your energy feel and focus on yourself before acting exactly 
Um, I do feel like your Divine Feminines are going to start going really hardcore on their self-care, their self-love. Um, they're wanting to gain a self, uh, a sense of independence. And I feel like with this I love you unconditionally, they're letting you know right now that even if you feel a detachment energy, that they will always love you um, unconditionally. They just have to focus on this. And remember, when Divine Feminines do this, Divine Masculines, they're focusing on themselves to make the best version of themselves for you. So when you guys come into union, you guys stay in union. Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Exactly. And in the other reading, um, I did touch on that, that Divine Feminines are working really hard. And um, there's just something that they're missing. And they have to go and figure that out. The Hidden Truth, which we did figure out what it was in the reading. So go check that out, guys. Uh, shameless plug. The Hidden Truth version 2. Let's see what your Divine Feminines have to share to the Divine Masculines at this time. God, Michael, Spirit, messages from the Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine at this time. Oh, a lot came out. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're going to get this. Okay, so you Divine Feminines are letting you know and asking you, will you ever make things right? I have too much to lose. And this could be why they haven't made a decision yet. I am recovering, so maybe um, they're recovering from some, you know, like if they were in an abusive relationship or toxic relationship, or this could be addictions, however that is. Um, I can't be with you. I don't want to know. I feel like this Divine Feminine Collective half is like wanting to heal and focus on self-love to bring in the Divine Masculine. And then the other half is... I'm feeling like the divine feminine is just focused on, on focusing on themselves because so much time has passed and maybe there's been repetitive cycles with this divine masculine that they're no longer wanting to um, pursue at this point, at this very moment in time. That doesn't mean in the future that there's no chance. So divine masculine, don't don't be too afraid of that. This is energies change, guys. I feel so happy with you. I compare others to you. Yeah, I do feel like the Divine Masculine and Feminines are mirroring each other a lot. You inspire me. I miss seeing you. I miss hearing your voice. Do I still have a chance? So if time has passed, the Divine Feminines are asking you, Divine Masculine, is there even still a chance or if I, am I wasting my time waiting for you or trying to be there for you um, even when, you know, like there's no contact or whatever. Maybe they're trying to reach out through friends to check up on you or do little uh, secret hints on social media to let you know that they're still there for you even if, you know, you guys physically aren't together. I do love you. So two cards of love. Your Divine Feminine is coming out and telling you that they do love you. I can be myself with you. I don't know how to feel. Yeah, I feel like your Divine Feminines are on a crossroad. Excuse me, guys. A crossroads on whether or not to stay patiently waiting or just kind of fully detach and focus on themselves and let you do what you need to do. I don't know why this happened. I know you don't feel the same. I don't want to let you go. You broke my heart. I would do it all again. So regardless of the heartbreak, they wouldn't change a thing. They don't regret being with you or having communication with you. 
Um, I just feel like this time apart is getting them in their head. And this is their ego part where um, they're needing to follow their intuition. They, they need to um, be 100% knowing the energy that they feel from, the, from their Divine Masculine is telling them that they do know that you Divine Masculines are in love with them and working towards them. But it may be one of those things where energetically they do feel that you may be in a sense of a lot of confusion, not knowing what to do. Um, you know your heart wants one thing, but your mind is telling you no. Or if the way that you're upbringing, you, you may be afraid to lose people um, in your life if you choose this decision. It's, it's multiple factors and they're feeling that. So now they're like, well, now I don't know how to feel. You know, I thought I knew you. I feel the sexual tension. I don't want you, wait, I don't know what you want. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, they feel this chemistry, this sexual tension, this passion, but they don't know what you want anymore. I feel like sometimes divine masculines, once in a while, if you feel your feminines detaching a little too much, and you're feeling like they're leaving you, you pull them back with all this energy to keep them going and it's it's almost like torture for them. I wonder how you feel. Yeah, a lot of self-doubt right now. I don't think there's any interaction in the 3D. I still have feelings for you. But they're coming out to let you know that regardless of everything, they do still have love for you. They have amount abundance, amount of, ab my gosh. They have a lot of love for you. <laughs> I miss being with you. Yeah, they definitely miss you because this is the third card of missing you. I miss seeing you. I miss hearing your voice and I miss being with you. So there's a lot of missing. All right. I just saw 654. So you guys may be seeing countdown numbers. So there could be reunion or countdown to releasing. I don't know. But yeah, that might be significant for you guys. I'm going to pull from my deck now. And then I'm going to close out the reading. So let's get a good shuffle in. Let's get a good shuffle in first, please. God, Michael, Spirit. Okay, God, Michael, Spirit, can I please get love messages from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine at this time? Yeah, so children are definitely affecting this union. We have the children card again. We had children here. And in the reading, children came out. So <laughs> your divine feminine is letting you know that they like your butt. I love your butt. You calm my mind. I feel like when they get into meditative states, you're the one that comes to mind. And it brings them peace to the point where I feel like tears are released because they just, that longing for you is something that is hard for them. Yeah, exactly. I feel so much love for you came out. Bottom of the deck, soft kisses. This could be also something that happens during a meditative state and I think that's what brings a tear to their eye is they feel you in that 5D energy in that meditative state and I kind of just like got butterflies in my stomach when I said that and they imagine like they feel your kiss like your lips touch their lips and it just like again I'm, I'm feeling it on the inside so it's definitely like your divine feminine loves you longs for you um and misses you a lot God, Michael, Spirit, can I get some more messages from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine? Yeah, I'm getting really emotional right now, guys. So I do feel like the Divine Feminines are very much in their feelings right now. They could be um, purging a bunch of feelings or just feeling a lot right now. I like my space came out. Bottom of the deck is Getaway Together. Let's get some more messages from the Divine Feminine to the Divine Masculine. I want you in every way. You are my fantasy. Yeah, a lot of attraction this Divine Feminine has for you, Divine Masculine. A lot of desire, a lot of fire, a lot of passion. Um, 
yeah, they definitely want you in every way and they think about you, I feel like, even when they shouldn't. Let's just keep it at that. Um, do you love me? Yeah, a lot of insecurity. Um, and I feel like this is why the next step for the Divine Feminines is self-love. Uh, they need to work on their worthiness and love themselves internally and not search for it externally. And that could be because of a lot of people in their life have abandoned them or anything they did was never good enough. Hugs. Your Divine Feminine loves your hugs, Divine Masculine. It's a calming feeling for them. I want to kiss you. Yeah, like I said, um, definitely they, they want to kiss you. They want to kiss you again. Or if you guys haven't kissed, they just, they imagine kissing you and how it would be. YouTube channel. Maybe you guys have a YouTube channel. Sexual tension again. So there, there definitely has been some separation. I do get the sense too that your Divine Feminine might not be um, sexually active with other people because they can only imagine you and it's causing a bit of a um, tension for them. I can't move on from you and that's probably why. Let's get some more messages from the Divine Feminine Collective to the Divine Masculine Collective, please. God, Michael Spirit, messages from the Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine at this time. Okay. Yeah, Divine Masculines. Uh, your Divine Feminine is telling you, you know, I crave you. <laughs> they, they definitely want you. There's no doubt about it. And again, Divine Masculines, um, that's just an energy. So your Divine Feminine is telling you that they love your curves. So for any Divine Masculines that are in a female body, your Divine Feminine is letting you know that they love your curves. And vice versa. It could be the other way around. Open up to me. Your Divine Feminines, I think I crave you in more ways than just physical bliss. I do feel like they crave um, all of you. Yeah, I want you in every way. I feel like it's intellectually, it's uh, emotionally, it's humor, it's body. They just want you to open up to them. Dirty thoughts. I'm with them, but I want you. Sorry, guys. I was, I was getting something. I think of you even when I shouldn't be. <laughs> See, that's what I said. They think of you even when they shouldn't be, and I think that's what's causing them the sexual tension. And honestly, with this card coming out next to each other, it could be that. They think of you even when they're sitting at dinner, you know, with their, with this third party and their kids and they're thinking what it would be like if you were there or, um, you know, in other ways. I have been looking for you my whole life. I want so badly to say sweet dreams. So your divine feminine could crave wanting to go to bed with you at night. Um, I, I'm getting the sense that they feel tired of waking up with you not in their bed next to them, especially when they think of you every time they wake up in the morning. Sexy Gemini. So you or your person could be a Gemini and they're letting you know that um, they find you sexy. Breathe, I got you. Divine Feminines are letting you know, Masculines, even if you feel the detachment, just know that I got you, you know, like you don't have to fear, um, you know, they're doing this work. So when you guys come into union that you work out and you don't have to be afraid of them breaking your heart. I got you if you got me is what I just heard, letting them go. So this could be your divine feminine letting you know that they are in fact letting this third party go. I want to flirt with you. I'm afraid of you breaking my heart so yeah regardless of 
them having love for you. They do fear that you may not do the work divine masculines and they're afraid of you breaking their heart and they want to trust that when you come into union, they want to be able to feel the change so they don't have to be afraid of breaking you breaking their heart. Sit on my lap is on the bottom of the deck. Messages from the divine feminine to divine masculine at this time. Soulmate, your divine feminine is letting you know that they know you guys are soulmates and that you are perfect to me. No matter what. Spring. Maybe something happened during the springtime for you guys or something may be coming in spring for you guys of next year. Karmic. The Divine Feminine is letting you know that they're dealing with the karmic at this very moment in time. This could be a person. This could be um, a group of friends or a lifestyle. I think of you always. Yeah, so they're, you're definitely heavily on their mind. Destiny. That could be someone's name, but also they feel like this is destiny. I love you again. Come towards me. Your divine feminine is telling you that um, it is safe to come towards them. And I'm hearing even if there is more healing to do, um, they want to give you some of their healing energy. Uh, um, sorry, I just got distracted by something. Um, Okay, I'm going to say it. So the sexual tension and come towards me and when I just heard what I did, I am kind of feeling like sexual healing, uh, but also just, you know, pure healing energy. They want to help you, whether it's having someone to talk to and open up about something so it could be easier to help you along the way. Mask, your divine feminine is letting you know that they are taking down the mask. So if for some reason they're in a third party and they're not being completely open with the amount of feelings they have for you, they do want to take it down. They want to let you know that you are so sexy. Addictions is what they could be working through right now. Or this could be you. Your eyes are so seductive. obsessed with your body you don't know how badly I want you bottom of the deck again is sit on my lap so we're gonna take that because I came out twice and then on the bottom of the deck we have I have a dirty mind but I have a big heart so your divine feminine is telling you regardless of their dirty mind or their dirty jokes or how much they um, resonate with sex or they're comfortable with it they're letting you know that they do also have a big heart when it comes to that and for you they are deeply in love with you and they love you unconditionally I'm gonna go ahead and close the reading guys here I hope this helped divine masculines and divine feminines um, uh, like and subscribe peace guys